This is Ron speaking. I put my Bedini motor back together again, except this time, uh, instead of the uh, Daft Man schoolgirl set out, uh, I'm using a double transistor configuration. The uh, coils, uh, the big run coil has been split into two. So I'm using two run coils, one trigger coil. I can't tell you how long they are. I lost track of that long time ago. I've uh, rebuilt this so many times I don't even remember. But uh, it's a much, much nicer setup. My wheel is turning very nicely. I wanted to show my uh, energy consumption. about uh, 62 milliamps to run this little guy uh, quite nicely motor spinning away in uh, comparison the uh, my uh, big jewel thief or jewel ringer or fleet generator whichever you like to call it I used to uh, recharge small batteries like these seen here and uh, it consumes uh, between 60 to 80 milliamps when it's charging up one of these little batteries. So the fact that uh, Big Boy here is using 60 to uh, recharge 18 amp hour batteries, uh, that's pretty good. Here's a log I kept of my the latest configuration of this Bedini double transistor model. Let's see here. Uh, I uh, did not uh, earth ground it. I left the amp meter on during the charging process. And uh, I kept the log every hour of where I was in the charging process. And uh, after nine hours, I disconnected everything and let the batteries rest for 18 hours. Because uh, as you know, uh, when you're charging batteries, uh, when you charge it up, it wants to come down after it rests. And when you run a battery, it comes back up after a rest, rebounds. So after the rest, uh, I lost four hundredths of a volt and gained four hundredths of a volt. So basically, uh, I can spin that uh, rotor half a pound of magnets for free, basically. It's almost 100% efficient. So I can just keep trading those batteries back and forth. And uh, the average after nine hours and a big rest is 100% efficiency. So uh, the Bedini gets a big thumbs up for uh, you know, just for being it. <laughs> it's very efficient, runs great. And uh, one more point. Let me turn you off for a second again. Yeah, I'm back here at the motor again. And I just want to uh, say that... Uh, uh, the efficiency is very high, but it's not a precision instrument at all. Uh, the uh, magnets literally came from the dollar store. The magnets that are rotating on this wheel right now, straight from the dollar store. And uh, of course, I'm using junk to uh, hold things down. I'm using scrap wood. I'm using plastic uh, inserts that came with CD uh, bulk. Uh, buys and uh, you can see that the uh, the rotor itself is rusted I'm using the outside of a AC motor housing the bell housing and it's rotating slightly off center on on just a collar of bearings uh, this was an air conditioner motor that had been outside for 10 years and we threw it away so uh, this is not precision equipment, but you can get spectacular results because of the brilliance of this circuit. Uh, if you're interested, you know, just look up Bedini Motor, and you'll have all kinds of things on the internet. The Daft Man has a nice uh, setup that I started with myself, so you might want to take a look at that. And again, the efficiency is just just outstanding. You just can't beat that. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous is what it is. Run out.